Hello students, welcome to grade 10 biology, topic our environment. Introduction An environment is everything that is around us which includes both living and non-living things such as soil, water, animals and plants which adapt themselves to their surroundings. The environment plays an important role in the existence of life on the planet yet. The word environment is derived from the French word environ which means surrounding. An ecosystem refers to all the living and non-living things present in the environment and it is a foundation of biosphere which determines the health of the entire planet yet. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable substances Biodegradable substance Our waste materials are discharged into the environment as a result of our daily activities. Biodegradable compounds are those that can be broken down by biological process. For example, plants and animals, organic materials. Look at these pictures. These are the examples of biodegradable substances. Non-biodegradable substances Non-biodegradable compounds are those that are broken down by a bacteria or saprophytes. Plastics are a good example. Look at these pictures. These are the non-biodegradable substances. Enzymes utilized in the deg degradation of substances have a unique effect and certain enzymes are required for the breakdown of a given substrate which is cyanobacteria can decompose all types of waste. Physical process such as heat and pressure act and non-biodegradable material. In this picture you can observe microalgae and cyanobacteria based biodegradation of organic pollutants. You can observe here clearly. Inert compounds are non-biodegradable. Non-biodegradable compounds can remain for a long period under specific conditions, causing harm to diverse ecosystem members. Observe in this picture, non-biodegradable waste which are causing harm for environment. Ecosystem Plants, animals, bacteria and human all interact with their non-living physical surroundings in a region known as the ecosystem. Abiotic ecosystem components include light, temperature, rainfall, wind and soil. Forests, ponds, gardens and farming fields are all examples of ecosystems. A natural ecosystem is one that is generated as a result of interactions between organisms and the environment. <coughs> observe in this picture, there is a natural ecosystem we can observe clearly. An artificial ecosystem is one that has been 
constructed by humans and does not exist naturally forests and ponds for example are natural ecosystems whereas gardens and crop fields are man made ecosystems you can observe in this picture types of ecosystem tropic level each level of food chain forms a tropic level observe the food chain in this picture organisms are classified as producers consumers or decomposers depending on how they receive their food from the environment producers producers are all organism that can prepare their own food through photosynthesis using the sun's radiant energy received by the chlorophyll in the leaves consumers are organisms that consume the food produced either directly or indirectly based on their number of feeding consumers can be classified as primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers primary consumers primary consumers are herbivores feeding on plants primary consumers are a group of organisms that are placed in the second tropic level they feed on produces grass or green plants they are therefore known as herbivores secondary consumers secondary consumers are largely carnivores that feed on primary consumers or herbivores example wolf fish snake and fox etc tertiary consumers A tertiary consumer is an animal that obtains its nutrition by eating primary consumers and secondary consumers. Look at this picture. Decomposers. Look at this picture. It is ecosystem decomposers we can observe here. decomposers are creatures that break down the dead remnants and waste products of other organisms decomposers in the soil break down complex organic substance or chemicals into simple inorganic substances that plants can utilize